Hey everyone. I'm still checking traps this morning. December 4th, the 5th. And uh, yesterday I was down here setting some snares and you can see right here. There's some good, there's a good rabbit trail going into there, coming out. And I set a snare right in the middle of this trail and kind of brushed it in. And when I got here, the snare is gone. Oh, looks like I got the guy. Got a good neck shot on him. He's just, just didn't take care of him. So I'm gonna dispatch him here real quick. But nice rabbit for the pot. I'll get back to you guys if I get anything more today. I set out a few more coyote snares yesterday, so I'll get back to you. Oh, hey everyone. <clears throat> just back down. Checking my traps. It's uh, December 6th, and it is <clears throat> the day after I just snared that rabbit. Snow had melted. Got pretty warm last night, but there was a trail. Pretty good trail all right through here. Led down into here and into there and there, and I snared a rabbit yesterday and the snare was still in good condition so I set it back up and I kind of just had that brushed in all real nice right here and I walk up today and there's my wire and got myself another one so Got myself dinner. No, I have to change this snare out. There it is, nice cottontail. And uh, still got a <clears throat> few more traps to check. I found a couple other real good rabbit trails and I got a couple more snares, so. I'll, uh, I'll take video of uh, a setup that I do for rabbits. It's pretty easy. Similar to snaring fox, just building little snares out of <clears throat> 332, or not 332, 364th cable with little mini slide locks on them. And then I just wire them off to a tree, put them in their trail, and kind of brush it in a little bit. But I'll take more video when I get uh, get to making the set. So see you then. Oh, I just wanted to show you the remake. <clears throat> so once again, we have the trail here. It comes leading down. Right there, I have my snare. These snares to be seem to be pretty effective. So I've already got two out of here. I'm not sure if I'll get a third, but I might. <clears throat> and I uh, forgot to take a video of. <coughs> another rabbit uh, set I made so I'll walk back over and I'll take a take a video looks like the honkers are flying I just keep coming
the other trail I have it, this other snare set up on it uh, appears to be a jackrabbit trail and you can see where they chew all the bark off on the trees so if I get one of those it's definitely quite a bit bigger than uh, these little uh, cottontails so hopefully we'll get one over there but I'll get back to you when I get back over and show you the setup <clears throat> all right I'm down here <clears throat> at my uh, other rabbit set up and uh, it's uh, kind of hard to see without the snow there was some snow on the ground yesterday but there was a good beaten down trail and you can see it right here it kind of goes in there and right there I have a snare set up and this one is uh this one's almost a guarantee. This trail was absolutely beaten down. There's rabbit tracks all over the place, so. I'm thinking this one's almost gonna be a guarantee. If I do catch one, hopefully the coyotes won't come in and grab it up, because it happened to me two or three times last year, where I would catch a, catch a rabbit come the next day and the whole thing will be tearing, torn a bit, so. It's all thick brush. I didn't bring enough rabbit snares with me. Or else I would be setting one. Right. There. There's a pretty good trail leading in there. Looks like the rabbits have been using that. You know, when the snow is on the ground. I hung a coyote snare. Right there, it's hard to see. because I don't know what it is about the backside of this hill and the trees, but they always seem to run this. So, hopefully I'll get one there. I'm using a fox snare. It's probably about a eight inch loop, but the way that that uh, hill is and the brush, I mean, I could only assume that that coyote's gonna put its head in one spot. And it's gonna be right in the middle of my snare. So, I've uh, wanted to trap more, but uh, I just really haven't had the time. And there's no snow on the ground. And I like to snare, and I mean, when there's no snow on the ground, the animals can pretty much run wherever they want. So, I got a few, few traps out, but not what I'd like, and I have caught just very minimal animals this year. I got a couple weasel boxes out, and those been out for a week, have had no luck in them. Where last year I had one within the first two days, and... Yeah, I don't know. I'm still trying. Just waiting for that snow. Doesn't help that it's 45 degrees today either, so. I will, uh, I'll get back to you guys probably shortly on those rabbit snares, so stay tuned. Okay. I'm just out checking some traps before I heading into work. And uh, this is where I caught the last two rabbits two days yesterday.
there's my snare right there. Nothing came through last night. I already caught two rabbits out of it. That might have been the only two running the trail. But we're gonna leave it out. But on my walk in, I noticed, and uh, I'll say last year, I had a weasel box in this location. And I caught two and three days out of it. Where is it? I had this weasel box in this spot last year. And it produced two weasels. And, uh, when I peeked in there, I saw a white belly. I figured it was just a mouse. But, it's a little weasel. There's my bait. Caught uh, a mouse in this trap earlier and um, just whipped it in the back and then I just have some uh, pheasant feathers. Gives some good eye appeal. But, uh, oof, got a little bloody. It's a little one. Nothing too big. Got him right behind the head though. It's the first weasel this year. So, they're all white. I'm gonna do the reset. Usually when these things get trapped, they leave a pretty good scent. So, hopefully I'll get another one here in the next couple days. But, pretty excited. First weasel of the season. So, I'll get back to you guys.